Foosball tables, M&Ms, Fruit Loops, Jenga. Artifacts of Silicon Valley culture on display at the new startup Pulse in San Francisco. But on a recent Friday here, along with the whiskey and bicycles so common in startup land, were employees dressed in suits and ties, silk dresses, and pumps. I actually learned how to tie a bow tie, and it took about an hour to do it this morning. <laughs> yeah, I was using YouTube videos. Down the street at the bootstrap startup Job Fig, amid the dishwashing detergent and sesame oil of the kitchen they practically work in, one employee was dressed to the nines in a matching shirt and watch. I'm pretty into fashion. Not like a brand whore or anything like that. Neither is his boss, but he did make sure his watch matched his socks. What's going on? Isn't this Silicon Valley where you're more likely to find workers schlepping it into the office, if they have one, in flip-flops, if they wear shoes at all? I have a love of pajama bottoms. So why are he and his co-workers seen on Friday sporting matching fake tattoos with their company logo and dressed like they're heading to a boardroom? The general workforce does casual Fridays. So we flip it around. Welcome formal Fridays, Silicon Valley's ironic take on the Friday dress down habit of those who normally wear suits and ties during the week. Yes, to be nonconformist in nonconformist Silicon Valley, you have to wear a suit. Some Facebookers do it, with members of Facebook's communications design team often observing corporate Fridays. Ironically, of course. <laughs> Even baristas at a downtown San Francisco Pete's coffee shop get in the formal Friday spirit. Suspenders and top hat, the couture du jour. Brian, a small decaf Americano. Always bow ties. I don't know how to tie a regular tie. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow, you, you can do that without even looking at a mirror. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One of the early proponents of formal Fridays is creative agency The Barbarian Group where a 2004 cocktail-inspired joke gave rise to formal Fridays there. Employees on both coasts now regularly dress up on Fridays and chronicle their dress in a Tumblr blog. It's kind of a joke around the office that I wear tank tops all the time, even in wintertime. As for some of their Friday themes? It's really about creating uh, uh, an overall gestalt. But most of the companies practicing some version of formal Friday say there is added benefit beyond subversion and irony. It also makes sure that I do my laundry before Thursday. But it's mostly the great reaction they get from others in the tech sector used to slumming it, including one job candidate, Pulse's CEO, happened to be courting on a Friday. And he was like, what's going on? Why are you in a suit? Uh, they think we're tourists, mostly. We've not done the top hat and tails yet, but we probably will at some point. Don't worry though, somewhere else in Silicon Valley on a formal Friday, someone's got that covered. Do I told you you have the whole Abe Lincoln thing going yes. on? Yes, someone actually told me to stay honest in the elevator. In San Francisco, I'm Andy Jordan for the Wall Street Journal.